one, you have no weight. You're gonna stand with your feet narrow, so it's a little bit of a balance challenge here. You're gonna make a full figure eight, as Azmita is doing here, with a smile. You're gonna do four reps of this, and then we move on to the V-sit crab touch. So you're gonna sit on the floor, and level one, you keep your chest up and lifted, you go back, and then you lift your hips up into tabletop. Yes, lean back, good. So what you don't wanna do here is bow the back. So you got four reps of this, and then we move on. You got about one minute left here of work. And level two, it's a little bit different. When you wanna make it a little more challenging, what do we do? We lengthen the lever here. It's gonna put more work and pressure in the chest. So carries your knees, still got both feet on the floor, and then she moves on to the next exercise. And level two here, the seal up dog. Focus on retracting the shoulder blades down the spine, opening up, hips or knees are still on the floor, and she's straight up and down here, relaxing the neck, hold for four seconds, that feels good. Thank you, Carrie, and moving on. And level three, you're gonna start with one leg. Look at Brad, it starts with a squat. Then a deadlift as you lean forward, hinging from the hip, not the mid-back. Then the bicep curl. You're gonna bang out four each side, and then we go to the downward dog ankle touch. So remember, it's the league for fatigue. Brad's in the league of his own when he does the squat here on this one. Down, can you get that low? That's a serious squat, way to go, Brad. Do the best you can here. This starts to really burn with the shoulder stacked over the wrist for 15 seconds left. How are we feeling? We jump those hips forward in a big power. Good, upper body cardio. And then he's moving on. And level three, you drop the knees parallel to the floor and you hold for five seconds. Here we go, bang those knees in. As you start to get fatigued, you're gonna see those knees not come in as far. So make sure you find range and reps. Get as many reps as you can all the way around. Over and back is one rep. Look at the levels here, okay? Everybody's doing something a little bit different. We're in a bridge, but in level one and level two, you've got both feet on the floor. And level three, you're gonna keep one leg up and make sure you get those hips nice and high when you reach here.